Hey, hey everybody and welcome back. So in today's video, we are stuffing our last paycheck for the month of May. So we have all of our cash here that we're gonna be stuffing with it being the last uh, paycheck. We are only stuffing the ones that we keep in cash or pay bills in cash. So that's all we're gonna stuff. Everything else has already been deposited into the account to go ahead and pay for bills for the June. So we have our bills pulled out that we're gonna need. We have our um, 57 by nine monthly planner that we use for our budgeting. And then all the stickers you see that are in throughout here are listed in my Etsy shop, which there is a link down below. So if you wanna check out any of those sticker kits or anything, they're available. All right, so we have flipped over to our paycheck breakdown here. We're gonna fill in paycheck number four, and then we're gonna stuff our envelopes. So I have quite a few new people I have noticed popping in and subscribing. So most people you'll see them stuff their envelopes and use it that same week. We are one month ahead, so everything that we stuff here is actually paying for June's bills and expenses. So you won't see money coming out, but you'll just see money going in. If you want to check out what we spend it on throughout the month, my weekly check-ins are where you want to be for those. So let's go ahead and start. So this week was actually just a good surprise week. Came at the right time. Just made it awesome. So for James, his check was $674.65. Um, I had $60 I brought in. Now, this week, we actually got our bonuses from the office, so which was exciting. So, $465.16 was my bonus from the tax office. Awesome. Can't be more happy that it came in because we were needing some extra to fund up some of our categories. So, it just timed out perfectly. So... That does total us to $1,199.81. Now that will be the only bonus because we only get it once a year at the end of season. So, but it, it, like I said, came at perfect timing. I'm happy. I'm not going to complain. We're happy for it. All right. So it's going to be a little crazy with how much we're putting in some of these, but we're trying to play catch up for the missing ones and kind of get them closer to what we would like to have in there. So, for cars, we did do the 230 because that was all that was needed. And that does total us to 920. For rent, we funded it up and got it to 150, giving us 600 for rent. For our groceries, we are adding $250 for groceries, now giving us Let's see, one, two, three, four, five hundred dollars. So it's only a hundred dollars less than what we would normally work with. So we are going to try to see what we can do, make it a little bit tighter for this month, and see how it goes. So it's going to be fun because there's a hundred dollars less. I do know, kind of already looked through the freezer, the pantry, kind of got an idea of what we have and what we're going to need going into the new month. Um, so hopefully we can work with it, make meals out of it and be good. Next up is gas. We added $222 into gas. I want to say $222 plus $78 plus $100. $400. So I did make sure this one went to $400 because we have been getting real close to using all of our gas budget. So I want to make sure we are covered on gas. Um, groceries, we can definitely manage to work $500 easily. Um, I don't think that'll be too big of a problem. So, next up is Allstate. Allstate actually needed a little bit more because the bill came out and showed that it's going to be higher going forward. It went up $20-ish, something like that. So, we're actually adding... $84 giving us 314 for car insurance um, so it did go up from the 292 originally to 314 so that is 12 it's only $12 not 20 ish $12 went up on that so we're just making an adjustment and going forward we're gonna have to increase our Allstate 
then. Next up is utilities getting a 70. And that does total us to 280 for Allstate. We have AT&T getting a 52, totaling to 232. Student loans had been fully funded as well as pest control. And student loans got 60, pest control got 33. Miscellaneous, we did add the 10 to get us 50 in there. And then the spending, I actually put $100, seeing that we had a bonus come in. That way we have some kind of spending because um, I do have my hair appointment for me and James, or Bubba. We both have that. And nothing else was added there. And then Cushion got the remaining $26 put inside of it. So this month we didn't add to anything for our sinking fund savings or debt, which some months is like that. We don't get to add anything, but next month it's a five week pay period. Usually during those months, we get to add something into all of those categories. So I'm definitely looking forward to that five paychecks. So that does total us to 1,199 for this week. So we're not stuffing all of that because it is already in the account, but we are gonna go ahead and stuff what we are needing to. So move that to the side. We have our 52 agenda here. This is where I keep all of our cash envelopes that have our bills and expenses in this one. Let me lay out all of our bills. Let me know how your month is went. If it's been a little crazy like mine, if it was smooth selling, let me know in the comments. All right, so there's that. All right. Let's go ahead and stuff. So cars is in the account. I've actually already made the car payment, last car payment for May. So hopefully it clears before I do my results. So we'll see. Rent is needing 150. So 150. All right, this should be 600. So let's see, we have one, two, three, four, 55, 50. 70, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. So 600 in rent. All right, then we have groceries getting 250. So 24, oh, one, two. Oh, I'm sorry, 2040. 50. So 1, 2, 20, 40, 50. Which now gives us 1, 2, 3, 4, 50, 70, 90, 500. So that is perfect. All right. Then gas is getting $222. So we have 1, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20. 1, 2. 1, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 1, 2. All right, so let's add this all together. All right, so let's see if this adds up to four. We have 1, 2, 20, 40, 60, 83, 50, 70, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 400. So 400 in gas. And then Allstate is getting 89. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. All right, so we have 1, 20, 40, 60, 82, 50, 70, 80, 50, 70, 80, 85, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94. Did I not count this right? One, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, two, two hundred, fifty, seventy, 
80, 85, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94. Okay, so I didn't add this right. So the cushion, that $26 I put in the cushion, that 20 is gonna have to cover the last bit of this Allstate because apparently I didn't add enough. Thought that I did the math right. I did. I'm not sure why this is short. It shouldn't be short. I have no idea. Okay, so I'll just have to do the 20 from the cushion because some reason this is short and I don't know why because it shouldn't have been. I did do the math right. <coughs> Utilities is in the account. AT&T is in the account. Pest control is in the account. Student loans was fully funded. Miscellaneous needed a 10. So now we have our 50 here. And then the last thing we're stuffing is um, spending for the month. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100. So it'll be 50 for James and 50 for me. So there is that. All right. So there are all of our cash envelopes that we stuff for this week. Now we have all of our bills fully funded. We were able to actually put 500 towards groceries after kind of worrying a little bit during the middle of the month and 400 for gas. So I'm happy about that. I am pleased to know that it just happened to fall in the right week to get that bonus to come in. So happy, happy. But I don't know how my Allstate got messed up, but we will use the cushion, that 26. So we'll use that 20 from there to finish running that when it's due. I'm not sure why it shouldn't have been off at all because I don't mess with these but once a week. So, but I really hope that y'all enjoyed this cash envelope stuffing and paycheck breakdown for the last week of May. Um, once again, leave some comments down below on how your month went. If it was a little, little rough, a little rocky, or if it was smooth selling in the comments. I love to read them. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe and I can't wait to catch y'all on the next video. Bye bye now.